Once upon a time in a small village nestled in the heart of a verdant valley, there lived a humble potter named Kenji. Kenji was a man of great skill, his hands shaping clay into beautiful vessels as naturally as a river shapes the stones in its bed. Yet despite his talent, Kenji was troubled. His mind was a tempest, a whirlwind of thoughts that never ceased. Worries about the future, regrets about the past, and a ceaseless stream of self-criticism filled his every waking moment. His mind was a cacophony that drowned out the peace of his craft. Word of Kenji's bad situation reached the ears of a wise Zen master who resided in a monastery atop a nearby mountain. The master, a man of great compassion and insight, decided to descend from his mountain abode to aid the troubled potter. He arrived at Kenji's workshop one day, his presence as serene as the morning sun. Kenji, recognizing the master, bowed respectfully and shared his troubles. Master, he said, my mind is a storm that never rests. It robs me of peace and taints my craft. How can I silence these incessant thoughts? The Zen master, listening attentively, nodded. He then led Kenji to a nearby stream, its waters clear and tranquil. He picked up a handful of pebbles and one by one began to drop them into the stream. Each pebble disrupted the water's calm surface, creating ripples that spread and collided in a chaotic dance. Your mind, Kenji, the master began, is like this stream. Each thought is a pebble disturbing the tranquility of your consciousness. The more pebbles you throw, the more turbulent the water becomes. Kenji watched the ripples in the water, his brow furrowed in thought. But master, he asked, how can I stop the pebbles from falling? The master smiled, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. You cannot stop the pebbles, Kenji. Thoughts like pebbles are a natural part of life. But you can choose not to throw them. You can choose to hold them in your hand to observe them without judgment and then to let them go. Kenji pondered the master's words, his mind wrestling with the concept. But how, master, how do I let them go? The master, understanding Kenji's struggle, offered him a practice. Each time a thought arises, acknowledge it. Say to it, I see you thought. Do not judge it, do not engage with it, simply let it be. Then return your focus to your breath, to the sensation of the clay in your hands, to the here and now. This is the practice of mindfulness, Kenji. It is the path to a quiet mind. Kenji, inspired by the master's wisdom, committed himself to this practice. Each day as he worked his potter's wheel, he would observe his thoughts, acknowledge them, and then let them go. It was not easy. Many times he found himself swept away by the storm in his mind, but each time he would return to his breath, to the clay, to the present moment. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. Gradually, Kenji began to notice a change. The storm in his mind was subsiding. The thoughts, while still present, no longer held power over him. He could observe them without being swept away like a mountain watching the clouds pass by. His craft, too, began to reflect this inner transformation. His pots, once rigid and uniform, now flowed with a natural, effortless beauty. They were a testament to his quiet mind, each one a silent echo of his inner peace. The villagers, noticing the change in Kenji's work, were drawn to his pots. They marveled at their beauty, their simplicity, their tranquility. And as they listened to Kenji's story, they too began to practice mindfulness, transforming not only their own lives, but the entire village. And so Kenji, the humble potter, became a beacon of peace, his quiet mind a silent echo that resonated throughout the valley. His story serves as a reminder that we cannot stop the pebbles of thought from arising, but we can choose not to throw them. We can choose to observe them, to let them go, and in doing so, find the tranquility of a quiet mind.